John C. Hey, Jamie P. Happy What's Memorial it? Day. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you to all those who have served this great country. Uh, we appreciate you. I'm very grateful yeah. for all you've done. And you, Sean, I'm very grateful for all, all that you have done, too. Well, thanks. I'm grateful for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Well, we hope everyone's enjoying uh, this beautiful day. I know we're all kind of um, pent up and all that, but it's a, it's a beautiful day. So we hope you're able to enjoy your time with your family. Absolutely. As things are loosening up, I think there's a little more movement out there. Uh, I'm sure yep. that's, that's got to make people feel a little bit better. Um, um, I, I saw some pictures in the LA Times today of people on hiking trails. I don't know if I'm <laughs> going to go on a hiking trail anytime soon. I want to, but I don't know if I will. But yeah. that's, a, that's for a whole other video. That's so Sean, video. Yeah. what should Why we talk we about today? Yeah. Why are we getting together? Well, Jamie and I want to talk to you you know, again, we always say this, we don't want to bore you. So we're just going to kind of give you um, how we've changed um, what we do for our sellers and how that process looks. Um, you know, it, from that side, we've done, we've done some buyer centric videos. We want to talk about our sellers and how we service those clients and help them through this process. At this time. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so, so hey, yeah, you, you what's changed? What's, what's the big what the big change we've talked about this a few times right no open houses and that's primarily right. the way that you get the you know, the most amount of people in the shortest amount of time into into our listings right so right. what have we done to try to adapt and change that and and work with the guidelines that were given um, well we have and this isn't just yesterday we've been doing this for weeks now we adapted quickly quickly and changed our procedures following the car guidelines, you know, and the local guidelines and um, came up with some uh, procedures. We have, a, we have plans. We have a plan. We have plans. Yeah. yeah. We're, so, not, we're not the fly by the seat type of people. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's for sure. I think, I think it, it, you know, when you're a seller, there's, there's obviously several um, kinds of sellers, meaning that you could be an owner occupied seller, you could have a vacant property and you can have a tenant occupied sure. property and all those scenarios, um, although I think we handle them similarly, they all have different things that you have to do. Um, yep. Because a tenant occupied property, you know, we have to be very conscious of the tenant, their rights. A seller occupied sure. property um, is our, primary concern is our sellers uh, and our tenants safety, but our seller safety. And sure. so, you know, I think all these uh, protocols that have been uh, given to us are to ensure safety of both those who are showing the property and those whose property is being shown. And yep. so, you know, right off the bat, we came up with, uh, the, with protocols uh, for showing a property. Now, um, our, how we have been so successful selling a piece of property is, is our marketing, right? Absolutely. And, yeah. And so our marketing um, also has changed a little bit, but it's actually what has happened is we have increased marketing, the, the different ways that we market a property, the different ways that we dem can allow people to get through a property besides physically seeing it. So as a seller today, you know um, if you're living in a home, we're definitely going to set up what we call our 3D tours, uh, yep. high definition tours, videos, things like that. But from the very beginning, and then I'll show you, we have um, set up protocols for um, listings and how we do this. So first of all, here is our listing protocols. So when we're gonna go on the MLS, this is how we're going to tell everyone um, they have to handle themselves in our property. First of yeah. all, um, that we're going to have the buyers review all the details in the MLS. Uh, we're going to have make sure that they drive by the property to check out the neighborhood because no longer are we allowing people in our sellers' homes um, that haven't been pre-qualified, um, that aren't in the position to buy. We're just not yeah. anybody's going to run through a house anymore. Okay, so that's buyers pre-approved. Pre we're going to want that pre-approval before we make an appointment to show that. 
Um, the California Association of Realtors has designed a disclosure and an access advisory so both sellers and buyers know what is expected for them uh, yeah. from from them. And so all the that document needs to be signed from for from anyone who's going to enter your your property, whether you're a broker or whether you're a buyer. And um, so um, we're, uh, we can, we can, some people ask us, well, maybe I don't want people in my house. What do yeah. I do? Well, um, we've already sold homes sight unseen. Um, through the REO, through our REO days, we've been able to do that. Um, we've sold homes virtually where people from around the world, we sold a home not too, that long ago to a woman that lived in Paris, France, and, um, and she bought it um, through virtual tours and seeing it that way, then came out for inspections and just established that it was indeed, you know, everything that she saw online. So there are, we've, we're already doing these things in the past and now we are, we are now in this post COVID environment doing these things for safety. Okay. Um, so it really sounds like sellers have options. I mean, and that's, that's the big thing. And, and to, to your point about, um, requiring proof of funds or a pre-approval, I think that that only strengthens the buyer pool for our sellers, right? I mean, it, instead of all the looky loos and 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 everyone coming through your house, you're getting um, these motivated and serious buyers, you know, and and those are the types of people we want, you know, through the door, really. Absolutely, and in I, any scenario. I, and I think these these days are here to stay. Um, I think, you know, the, you know, there may be public open houses somewhere down the line, but I think how we handle them may be different, but we're looking, you know, we're looking down the line for right now, there's no public or broker open houses, you know, so we have so to you're find saying I never have to, to put it. signs up again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I may put them up just to stay in shape, but <laughs> yeah. that's true. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. So now what's this right here? This is a uh, MLS verbiage. This is what we're including in every listing, right? This is our, right. this is kind of our boilerplate. This is our boilerplate. This is how we're notifying other brokers and, and, and the public how, how we're going to show these, these pieces of property. And this yeah. is based on our Los Angeles County mandated restrictions. So, yeah. um, you know, um, f even from there, um, let's see. We can go back to this and then I'll see if I have yeah. got it. See, it seems like with all these options, we can really tailor and we are tailoring every listing to the seller's needs, right? I mean, we were um, taking their concerns and wishes absolutely to heart and choosing how we move forward accordingly, right? Yes, yes. So uh, I was just going to say, let me show you protocols. Yes. There we go. All right. So, you know, if you're, if you're a seller now, if the house is vacant, these are the things that Hold on Sean and second. I do. Sure. We're not seeing um, the document. So try to share, go back to share screen. There we go. Let's share that document now that it's open. Thank you. Sure. All right. So um, if if the house is owner occupied, then these are going to be the protocols that this that the the owner is going to want to take mm -hmm. prior to us uh, or somebody showing the property. And most likely, we're gonna we're gonna be involved in every showing. You know, we're not gonna yep. we're not gonna allow anybody else to show the property but us. Uh, so the you know, as a seller, you would do this if the house is vacant then Sean and I come and before showing, and these are the things that we do. You know, we, you know, um, as a buyer's agent, the buyer's instructed that, uh, and their clients are structures they can't touch anything, that we will turn off any lights and close any doors when, you know, when it's done. They are to wear gloves and masks, and, um, and they, uh, we bring extras just in case those things, you know, somebody, forgot them and doesn't have them and we have also have hand sanitizer and um, um, the the alcohol yeah. wipes so we can make sure that the property 
um, is always sanitized and safe. So, you know, those are things that, uh, like we said, have been our protocols from the, you know, for weeks and weeks and weeks. So we wanted to share that with you. So, so is this a good time to sell your property? That's the question. Well, we are seeing multiple offers <laughs> left and right. Um, I think we're, there's nothing on the market, right? I mean, we're yeah. scanning the MLSs uh, uh, for people who maybe took their properties off the market. Uh, uh, maybe people yeah. that have been thinking about selling and didn't know if this is the right time. It, it, it is a great time. Um, I think um, our, our prime buying time, which, which is usually spring because the school is now being pushed back and we think um, our summer may be the best summer we've seen in a long, long time because of this pent up demand. Um, yeah. Interest rates, Sean, are they low? Extremely. <laughs> and we've made a few videos almost that kind of weave themselves into this video in a way. Um, great time to buy because interest rates are low. Great time to sell because there's no inventory. And there are buyers out there. We represent some of them and they're struggling to find a home because there's nothing available. And if you're thinking about making a move, downsizing, upsizing, moving out of state, whatever it is, it might be a great opportunity to seize that demand. Right. And, and we understand that, uh, again, your safety is a priority. And if you want to have a conversation and, and talk about if this is the right time, we can do what Sean and I are doing right this with you. We have a, yeah. we have a, a, a presentation we can do uh, via Zoom, uh, online or Face, you know, or FaceTime or, you know, all the different uh, yeah. available um, conferencing uh, mechanisms that are out there now. It's really easy for us to do. You don't want us to enter your home until you, you, you thought it out. You can take, you know, tour, tours yeah. via video. So, um, yeah. you know, there's lots of ways and, and we've done them all. Yeah. And there's so many moving parts to a move and selling your house in general. And now with all this in place, there's um, no better time, I think, to really plan, right? Even yeah. if you're thinking six months to a year, you just, you start the planning process now because it creeps up on you very fast, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, Who could believe it's been 60, over 60 days? I can't. We, it went like that. I know. I know. So anyway, um, yeah, if you need anything, reach out to us. We're here to help. We're here to answer questions. We want to shed uh, light on to anything that you have concerns about or unaware, you know, anyway, we're here for you. So just reach out anytime. Right. Perfect. So great. We'll thanks, enjoy. Sean. Hey, yeah, thank you. It's, hey, it's good, I hope, it's good I hanging hope out. That was, uh, <laughs> I, know, I hope that was helpful for everybody. And, and yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see you in our next video. We're trying to do one a week now. So look out for our next video. Yeah. And Hey, yeah. do we have a new YouTube channel? You can check out our past videos. We do. So please subscribe. It's uh, the Pearson Cusack real estate group. Please subscribe. We're trying to put out content, like I said, weekly, and we're going to upload some old content that we have. Um, yeah. We'd appreciate a subscription from you. We'd love that. We'd love that. Everyone be safe. Take care out there. Happy Memorial yep. day. Enjoy your Sounds barbecue. Good. Yep. See you guys later. Cheers.